Hello friends, welcome back to the Chanel, it's Leilani. So first of all, just want to say sorry that I didn't upload last week. I feel like ever since I came back from Italy, I have just been so busy. And I've also been running around town getting home decor. So I'm sure you could infer what's coming next on this channel. We're doing another room makeover. I think it's been like two years since my last room makeover. But girl, it's about gosh darned time. Basically, when I came back from Italy and saw my room for the first time, I got that same feeling like when you first go off to college and come back to your childhood bedroom and you just see it through an entirely new lens and you're just like, I used to like this. I'm not gonna lie, my room was just feeling a little childish. And you know, I'm in my late 20s now. We need to elevate. <laughs> but I didn't want to fall into the trap of just having like a really sad beige room. So I headed straight to Pinterest to get some inspiration. I'll show you guys a little bit. But I'll definitely go more into depth in the room makeover video. But today I just want to show you all the things that I've collected. And I also wanted to show you guys that you can redo your room on a budget. Most of the things I'm going to show you guys, I actually thrifted and got second hand and there's also some random miscellaneous items from like target hobby lobby tj maxx all my maxinistas please rise but before we get into it i really never ask this on my channel but please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification because it will notify you when i upload next and you won't miss the room makeover Okay, without further ado, let's get into the home decor haul. <laughs> all right, so I think first I wanna show you guys all the items that I managed to thrift. I did not get all these items in one go. I was going to the thrift shop like every other day. So if you guys watched my last home decor haul, you know that I love thrifting funky vases. I swear I come across the best ceramics, glassware vases at the thrift. So first I'll show you this vase that I got from Salvation Army for only $1. It was originally $1.99. It just happened to be 50% off the day I got it. It's this gorgeous pastel green color. It has this like pearlescent sheen to it. And of course the fun texture diagonal lines. I thrifted this from Goodwill in my last home decor haul. But as you could see, the mouth of this vase is quite large. I don't know if my bouquets are just really small, but they would never fill this out. So this one is a little bit smaller, but I was still missing having a cute pink vase. So when I found this one from Goodwill, I just freaking jumped on. It. This one was $4.99. It is a bit smaller, so it is the perfect size. But as you can see, this one is a more of a muted kind of mauve pink. And I don't know, I just love the kind of like milky, hazy look to this. It's so beautiful. I think I'm going to put it up on my shelf above my desk. Also, I've had this for a couple months now. I'm not sure if I've shown it to you guys, but I also got this from Goodwill. This was only $3.99. I have some dried lavender in it, but this is a beautiful little mini vase. I immediately rushed to this vase when I saw it because it had this beautiful Japanese pattern to it and when I checked underneath lo and behold it's made in Japan it has these beautiful cranes and flowers lined with gold could not pass this up and I also found this little beauty at Goodwill this was $3.99 and just look at how adorable it's in the cutest little sphere shape I loved the cracked glass kind of look and it's in this beautiful peachy pink kind of color I feel like it's just gonna fit in perfectly with the rest of my collection and the kind of dusty color tone that I'm going for and on the theme of cool glasses I have these two antique perfume bottles I didn't thrift these these actually used to be my grandmother I remember that we stored them away somewhere in our kitchen cupboards So I was digging through and I found these guys and they're just stunning They're gonna make really beautiful decor and just to know that they were my grandmother's I don't know it just has that extra layer of Sentimentalness Is that a word? I'm sure you get what I'm saying. They just hold a lot more meaning to me. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the first one here. It's this beautiful milky lavender shade. I love the sound that it makes when you remove the top. And the second one that I have here, also in this really cute sphere shape with these lines and texture. And the topper is this gorgeous silver design. And speaking of silver, you guys are gonna start to see a lot of it. I even thrifted this cute little silver starfish dish. I already washed it, but I put the sticker back on just so I wouldn't forget the price but this was only $2.99 y'all know I was born and raised in California I love any kind of ocean or sea motifs and I feel like you always need little dishes like this to put jewelry miscellaneous items like airpods chapstick and this one's actually large enough and flat enough that I could use it as a coaster for my coffee mugs and the fact that it was silver was just 
the cherry on top if you guys know what my room looks like it definitely has a lot of gold accents i still like the gold i'm not going to take them down but there's something about mixing in silver elements that kind of excites me i don't know what it is i mean clearly you can see my jewelry today i've just been really into mixing and matching metals on my jewelry and home decor i guess so next from goodwill my jaw hit the floor when i found this in the thrift shop it was exactly what i was looking for on my pinterest board i have been saving a lot of orchids and i've seen a lot of artificial orchids at goodwill but they're just really dusty crusty and musty and to see that these were in a gorgeous bright pink color in like perfect condition in a silver vase and this item was a little pricier than the others. This one was $9.99. But I've seen the fake flower pots like this from Marshalls and TJ Maxx for like $15. So still a little cheaper. And it's also just nicer to know that I was able to get it secondhand and give it a new life. And here's an item that I've never thrifted before. I got a lamp. <laughs> Obviously in silver, are we even surprised? It was retailing for $7.99 at Goodwill, but there is kind of a significant dent in the back. So I asked if they could give me a discount and they actually brought it down to $5.99. Also while I was thrifting, I was avidly looking through their paintings and artwork, but I tend to never really have luck. But for some reason on this particular day, the thrift gods blessed me. Oh geez, I'm gonna have to back up. <laughs> With this beautiful painting and of course a silver frame i was stoked when i found this in the thrift shop i don't know much about art but i'd say it's a watercolor painting in this gorgeous vibrant and hazy blue and the best part was that it was only 4.99 i have the price on the back <laughs> only issue is that it is quite heavy and if i was gonna hang it up anywhere it'd be above my bed so needless to say that makes me a little nervous <laughs> so We'll see if she makes it. And I also wanted a couple books as decor. So kind of like coffee table books or just hardcover books that I could stack things on top of. So I found two. Never thrifted a book at Goodwill before, but they're all only $1.99. And I'm not gonna lie, I have never heard of this book before. I got it because the color really attracted me. <laughs> oh, the self-admission is real. Okay, so this is How Are You Really? I don't know who Jenna Kutcher is, but pop off girl let me also just remove the cover just expose a beautiful yellow and orange color once again i just love the title i actually will give this a read i looked up the reviews and they're good and then the second book i got i actually bought used off of amazon so it was much cheaper than the asking retail price the used one was only like five dollars i have been eyeing this book for a while so i'm really glad that i got my hands on it it's see san francisco by victoria smith i'll also remove the sleeve from this one it's a hardcover with some of her photography it's beautiful when i received this book and started flipping through it it just put the biggest smile on my face i'm not sure if you guys know but i lived in san francisco for four years that's where i studied for university it just holds a really special place in my heart and flipping through these photos was getting me emotional i haven't been back to san francisco since i graduated so i don't know this book kind of sparked some motivation in me to possibly go back maybe even this year Stay tuned. All right, so we managed to get through all the items that I thrifted, so let's swiftly move along. <sighs> you guys, here's my glorious glass mushroom candle. If you guys watched my holiday gift guide video, I was recommending this candle as a gift. It's from Urban Outfitters, and I went on their website and found this particular one. It's in a fig scent. And I just loved the color combo. I loved this like hazy lavender mauve base with the royal blue topper. And the best part is that even when I run through this candle, it makes amazing decor. This was a little pricey, but I did get it on sale for around $19. But then I managed to snag some more affordable candle options from Marshalls, my fave. Each one of these candles were only $7.99. And look at the gorgeous glass they come in. I was looking at glass candles just like this on amazon for like 20 dollars so you could imagine my excitement when i found these at marshall's 
and the scents are insane this really beautiful kind of sagey green one is vanilla and patchouli it smells just like the bath and body works one and this beige kind of champagne colored one is leather sandalwood it smells so good it's a lot fresher than i would have imagined and of course the best part is once you burn through these you can still reuse them i honestly might just use these as a container to put my cotton pads in or of course you could just pop some smaller candles inside the glass and keep reusing it that way Oh, what's that? You thought I was done with candles? No. But here I just have some good old twisty candlesticks. I know these are so trendy right now, but these are from Hobby Lobby. They're only $1.99 each, but every other week they go half off. So technically you can get these for a dollar if you go during the right week. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pop them in the same candle holder that I got in my last room makeover. This was also from Hobby Lobby. Oh, hey. As you guys can see, I went for some neutrals. I went with a beige and a white because before I had a pink and a blue and I'm sorry, but it was just giving gender reveal party. Okay, this is the last scented product I promise and it's not a candle. I got this gorgeous glass diffuser and doesn't this look so high end? You guys aren't gonna believe me when I say this, but I got this from Target. I'm a basic American girly, Target never fails me. It's really nice thick glass. It does have some weight to it. And girl, let's give a moment to this gorgeous sage color. They did have some other color options, but I've been really into my greens lately, if you can't tell. And this scent actually had the best reviews. And you guys, it smells like cologne. It smells like man in my room. I love it. And I almost forgot this retails for $16. And even when it runs out, still gonna use it because it's such beautiful decor. And I could also always just refill it with whatever scent I want. Okay, luckily we're almost done though. So let's get through this. This one's for all my Max and Nista girls. I freaking love TJ Maxx. And I got this really cute bamboo makeup drawer organizer. My old makeup drawers are just looking really crusty. It was time for an upgrade. And I think this was only like $12.99. And you guys know and love of my iconic heart mirror from five below i did get a new one this was my old mirror i got it in the lavender shade it's just so crusty now and even though you could put batteries in the back mine doesn't light up so it was time to get a new one and this time i opted for the pink option here's the new pink color versus the old lavender they honestly look really similar on camera but i don't know i think the pink is a fun little change and it was only five bucks so <laughs> lastly just got a couple decor items from amazon this item I was gagging over. I saw this stunning opal sphere on a gold stand in one of my Pinterest inspo pics and just had to immediately look it up. You can find items like this really easily in a crystal shop, but I swear every time they're retailing for like $50. I got this off of Amazon for only $13.99. Opal's one of my favorite stones, so I had to get this. It's gonna look so cute on my shelf. I've also been needing a new throw blanket and I found this one on sale from Amazon. Look how stinking cute. I love this kind of like ribbed texture. It's so soft. Of course, I'll link this down below, but they had a bunch of different color options. I really liked this one. It's in the shade linen. I just wanted to focus on adding some more complimentary warm tones and bringing more cozy elements into my room. Also, let's be honest, this is mostly for my cat Kona and he freaking loves it. So five stars, way to go Amazon. And I also ordered some sheets and pillowcases from Amazon, but I'm too lazy to get up and get it. I guess you guys will just have to wait and see which color I choose in the room makeover video. Okay, girl, I am winded. That was such a huge haul. Thank you guys so much for sticking until the end if you did. Also, please, please remember to subscribe if you haven't. It's completely free and helps out the channel way more than you know. Also, make sure to hit the bell because it'll notify you every time I post and I do not want you guys to miss this room makeover. Now that I have all the dream pieces that I wanted, I'm so excited to finally put everything up and I hope this video just gave you a nice sneak peek into what kind of style I'm going for. Thank you as always. Love you guys. Bye-bye.